Morning, boys and girls. I'm going to do a tutorial that's very, very specific uh, to, to a very specific workflow. However, it may contain some things of interest to a lot of people, particularly if you're doing uh, exports to Unity or uh, Unreal. I'm not an expert at all. I, I don't even know about those programs. I just know a passing familiarity. But I want to show you what I'm doing to get uh, my avatars into Anima which is this program that allows you to uh, generate uh, paths and things. I think you guys have seen uh, some of the stuff like this. This is, you can generate people and things moving around. I did my Knights uh, Village on using this. And uh, it's just a really nice crowd generator program. And it's actually, they've lowered the price, so it's very, uh, it's very reasonable. But I want to show you how I get a my own custom characters into that. So real quick, let's go through this. So first of all, uh, First of all, very first of all, I go to Daz and I and I put together an outfit and a person. But you can do it from Character Creator three too. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that Daz character that I created and bring it into Character Creator three. But the process is is exactly the same. Now I'm not gonna bake the textures. I don't really want those textures. So whenever you only want the the costume and the outfit, you just use basic, much much faster that way. And we can still apply custom textures and characters to the to the people that we import but we don't need to uh to do it to start with so we're not going to save that so I'm gonna this. So this has got a lot of stuff in it so uh, i always check to make sure that it's all identified correctly one thing you want to notice is this says the mesh is bound to the wrong bones these hats sometimes hats and accessories come in uh incorrectly um bound and but we're going to show you how to take care of that so I'm not really worried about that to begin with. So everything everything checks out. The boots or shoes and everything else is cloth. So not going to bake the body texture. Again, that just slows things down. We don't really need that with clothing that's coming in from uh, Daz. So as it loads in all the stuff, first thing we're going to see is that the hat is going to be positioned a little incorrectly. I, I know this because all these hats are coming from the same uh, creator and they're all getting positioned a little bit wrong. So we'll look at these, and so you can see that it's just it's just offset a little bit from the head. So to, to fix that, the first thing I'm going to do is come down and, and edit the pivot point, because the pivot point's way below where you can see it. So if I just click the center, so now we can we can see that correctly. So now, so now I got the pivot point, and then I'm going to adjust the hat a little bit, just in the right position. Maybe bring it down just a touch. I don't know how the Russians wear their hats, but I think that's okay that's okay and sizing is a little uh, off perhaps but i'm not going to worry about too much because this is going to be a crowd the figure's not going to be seen much closer than this so um i'm, I'm not going to be obsessive about this i'm also not going to run polygon reduction although normally i would do that on all of these items and that's i would strongly recommend you do that if you're going to bring them into anima or any program that they're background characters but in this particular case if you can see those polygons, it's uh, they're pretty efficient already. This particular uh, items of clothing, all these items here are uh, very, very low polygons. So, uh, so I'm not really worried about it. If I was going to, I'll select this jacket and see. But that would be one thing I would definitely do. You, see, you can see how big those are. So if you have, you know, close set polygons, then you want to reduce them. And I would never use the recommended settings because they're way too conservative for this kind of stuff. You want to get down 20%. If uh, You want to get these big polygons here like this because for a crowd, that's all you really want. So, But like I say, this is efficient, so I have to, I don't have to do that. But the one thing I do want to do for every item of clothing is transfer the skin weights. The reason for that is that the transformer doesn't always do this correctly, and so it never hurts to do this. Always a good idea to do this on everything except... I'm going to go in here in just a second. And we use the default one because it's not a dress, gloves, shoes, or other. Uh, the hat would be other. I'm going to show you in a second about that. We will do the hat as an accessory. And transfer the skin weights and we'll make it a other. Sometimes I use hair for it. Uh, it's six of one, half a dozen the other. This character for anima, I don't generally put hair if they're going to have, have hats on because it's going to cover that. And again, you're not going to see it from very far, uh, very up close. It doesn't really matter. Um, and the shoes, you don't have to transfer the skin weights because it identified those as shoes. And you'll see if we try to go into shoes here, it'll say, hey, it's already got shoes that are signed. So we don't really want to reassign those. So 
So we'll just ignore that. So, okay, now the one other thing we have here is there's a, uh, a sing singlet underneath this jacket. If I take the jacket off, uh, if I go to the jacket and we go to, uh, let's see, how can we, oh, 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 right here in the scene, the jacket, and we turn it off for a second, you'll see he's got this singlet which isn't even conformed properly. Well, I'm going to actually, I don't really need the singlet because it's, uh, it's going to be hidden all the time, so I'm going to get rid of this particular one. I had it in for other characters that I was going to do, but and um, that's about it. Now, this is the right outfit, but I want to have a different character than the default character in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to here to the project, and I'm going to go ahead and save this project first. We'll call it Russian uh, Coat. I don't know. Well, I'm going to pick up the process from here. Uh, I had a terrible time with Character Creator 3 kept crashing on me. I think it has something to do with the outfit, but I don't know what. So I ended up having to save all the pieces of the outfit separately, loading my character in, Edward, and then applying the pieces back. Shouldn't have to do that, but that's what I did. Okay, so what, are the, so, so what else are we going to have to do with this? The first thing we want to do is uh, put the game eyes here that come with this um, game eyes just have the one uv so they'll they'll put in here and they won't have all the different parts we don't need different parts for the uv for these characters that are that far away anyway and it's just going to make it, working with it a lot easier so then we're going to go ahead go ahead and export as fbx the whole clock thing and i'm going to use it as a uh, blender I don't know that it really makes a whole lot of difference, but I used the Blender one. I think I've used the Maya one before, but it doesn't really matter. Um, those are the settings I'm gonna use. Export. And I'm gonna call it uh, Russians 3, because I have a number of Russians here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and in Blender, I'm gonna load this up and bring this over here so you guys can see it in this screen. And I'm gonna import, whoops, I'll import FBX and I'm going to turn off use pre post rotation because if I leave that on it screws things up and then I'm going to import that uh, FBX file in here what we're doing here in blender is we want to get rid of the skin textures and you might think well Mike there's a thing that says delete hidden textures so why don't I just hide them in character creator 3 well that will blow up anima uh, Anima does not like that for some reason. Um, it has something to do with the weighting, I think. So I do it here in Blender. This works. Blender works. I go into edit mode. I turn off the uh, back face. So I want to select both faces at the same time here. Because what I want to do is I want to delete all of the skin that's underneath it. So it won't be seen. So it won't come out while the character is moving around. Don't need to have that skin. So I want to get rid of all the skin that we can, all the skin that's possible to get rid of, or most all the skin that's possible. You don't have to go crazy about it, but I, I try to get rid of enough. And then once we're done with that, then we also want to get rid of those eyelashes. Eyelashes, Anima 3 still has, uh, 3.5 still has a problem with transparency. So that's, that's uh, it makes your characters look really weird. So I go into eyelash and do select. You can see the eyelashes and then we X, we get rid of those. So now we're all set. Now we have a character that's uh, a lot less complicated because of all that. Plus, we can go ahead and export as FBX, same thing. We want to go into armatures and turn off the leaf bones. Don't ever want to add extra leaf bones there. And we'll actually, we'll just save this as Russian 3 again. That's fine. Export, it shouldn't take very long to export it. Okay, now we're in Anima, so we go to uh, open, create a new character. Once again, if you don't know how to do this, that's okay. I saved this as Russian 4. I want you to see the difference. Russian 3, the one that came out of CC3, was 40, uh, 41 meg. The, after I deleted most of that skin underneath, it came down to 6 meg. So obviously a whole lot better than, uh, th than that. So you want to always delete the skin that you don't use and uh, that'll make your your characters a lot smaller in your game engines and you can do that in the cc3 thing by saying you know convert to game engine but once again doing that doesn't work in anima it just it just blows it up so 
And there we are. There's our character. And if we go ahead and have him dance around, you'll see he dances just fine. And then the only other thing we do here, I mean, I, I don't really want to go into all of this, which you guys probably know uh, that have it, know how to use this. So I don't really want to try to explain how to use this, but um, we probably want to take a, an image of this. And you want to go in and you could um, edit your materials. You want to make sure that the materials are uh, are all or all the right types. I don't know what that particular material is, but, uh, oh, I see it's a little badge up there. So a little fabric-y thing there. And there's a fur material, so that's a fabric thing. And you know you wanna change these to, to be the types of materials they think because they, uh, they, they kind of shade it a certain way. So that's leather and so that's fabric. So you wanna, you wanna go through and do all this stuff. And notice we only have one eye texture because that's all we have there. And uh, teeth and mouth, eyes and mouth, skin, so that's fine. Nails should be also skin, basically. Tongue, eyes and mouth, fabric material, so these are all. So you do all these, you, cha you change all these to the, to, to the right type so that they'll use the right shading. And pants material, fabric. And I think those are fabric, yeah. And the buckle is metal. But we can't see the buckle because it's underneath his jacket, so that really doesn't doesn't make any difference. Uh, I think the same for that leather. And then these are the shoes. So I'll turn those on to leather and the soles of his shoes. And that's it. And then, you know, you save it and use it in your various things. So